to get to the mountain. Why should he follow the Islamic path to submit to that only one God? Thank you. Sister has the question that the Jews believe in one God, the Christian believe in one God, the Muslim believe in one God. All lead to God. So why follow only Islam? That was sister, the basis of the talk was that Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, three men, one mission. All what we talk about Judaism, Christianity, what Moses, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. What Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught was nothing but Islam. So if you say, I'm going to follow Judaism, if you follow Judaism, you have to believe in what Moses, peace be upon him, said. Moses said that there's a prophet to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you have to follow him. If you want to follow Christianity, you have to follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He said in Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you into all truth. So if you have to be a good Jew, you actually finally have to be a good Muslim. If you have to be a good Christian, you finally have to be a good Muslim. All these, if you have to follow Muhammad, you have to be a good Muslim. All these prophets of God that came right from starting, up to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from Adam, peace be upon him, Muhammad, all of them taught the same message. And the other superficial thing may have changed here and there a little bit. But the basic message of Tawheed, oneness of God, was said. And if you follow them, you'll come to know they said that about the finer details, more will be told to you later on. All the prophets said that. And all of them indicated that a final message, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa will be coming, a final messenger, and he'll be getting the final message, that's the glorious Quran. That's the reason, the only way, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the deen in the Allah islam the only religion, the only way of life, acceptable in the sight of Allah, is Islam. That is submitting a will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85, that if anyone desires any other religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And in the Akhirah, he'll be among the losers. So the religion taught by all the prophets of God was nothing but Islam. That's the reason, the only religion that the true religion is religion of Islam, that is submitting a will to Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. Okay, we can take one more question. Um, are the brothers if they want to decide amongst themselves as to whose question is more important or um, we've got a question here which uh, said since all three men came with the same mission from the same one God does it matter which one messenger is followed I think that might have been answered in, in the last answer you gave so inshallah could uh, don't take up the time deciding <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Um, you mentioned a hadith earlier on about um, which is mentioned in Sahih Abu Dawud, and you said that, I can't remember the name of the Sahabi, but you said that I, he said, I saw my father praying without his shoes and with his shoes on. In the commentary of this hadith, it mentions that Rasulullah and the Sahaba, the only time they prayed with their shoes on was at the time of jihad, no other time. Can you expand on this? Did you mean that we can pray with our shoes on? At any time, or did you mean that we pray with our shoes on at the time of jihad? I suppose the question that I said in my talk, and you quoted the hadith, the reference I'll give you, is Sunnah Abu Dawud, poem number one, chapter number 240 in the book of Salah, hadith number 653. It was Shoaib ibn Omar who said, his father said that his father, he heard his father saying that the Prophet prayed. What you said that the Sahaba said his father prayed. If the, it's not his father prayed. His father said that his father saw the Prophet praying with his shoes on as well as barefooted. Regarding you saying that he, the Prophet only prayed during jihad, that's totally wrong. There are several hadith, that's not the only hadith. If you go to a hadith before that, in Sunnah Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 240, hadith number 652, the Prophet said, do the opposite of what the Jews do. They pray, removing their footwear. That means a commandment. So therefore, the scholar says, at least once in your lifetime, you should pray with your shoes on. But today, because the mosque is in a different situation as compared to that time, previously the mosque was made of, the ground was dirty and mud, that's why. Therefore, now when we go to the mosque, we take out our footwear. But yet, if you go to the haram, yet you'll find some people who wear clean shoes, their soles are clean, and yet they go inside with shoes on. 
So even you can pray with shoes on any time, but see to it as the Prophet said that clean your souls. You can even pray here. You don't have to pray only in jihad. That's a misconception. You can pray with your shoes on, but it, the soul should be clean. But as a general rule, because you go in a mosque and the mosque nowadays as compared to the time of the Prophet, now it's different, it has marble, it has clean flooring. That is the reason we most of the time when we go in the mosque, we take off our shoes. But if someone goes into the mosque, even with the shoes on, I'm sure most of the Muslims will catch him and even hammer him. <laughs> but the Prophet also went, you can go with your shoes on. But see to it is clean, but as a general rule, I advise you not to go. Not that you can go, but because now it is a different thing, it's clean, etc. And how much you clean your soul, it may not be clean. But if you want, you can go. The Prophet has given permission. It is not only during jihad. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Jazakallah khair. Wal asr inna linsan lafi khusr ila ladina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasu bil haqi wa tawasu bil sabr.